The last few years have seen the emergence of one by drive trains. Many riders have ditched their front mech and now rely on just one single chain ring and a wide ratio cassette. But there is still room for that two by drive train. In this video, we're gonna take a look at one by versus two by. My bike is set up as a one by system, so a single chain ring, no front mech, no shifter up on the bars. I've just got this little chain device, keeping that chain nice and snug on my 34 tooth chain ring. On the rear, I've got a one by 11, and that's an 1146 cassette, so really big, low gear there. A couple of years ago, 36 would have seemed large, but now I just need to rely on this cassette to get me around that terrain that I ride. Okay, so this is my bike. And the first thing that you're gonna spot is this front derailleur. What this allows me to have is that two by system up front. So I've got a 26 tooth chain ring and then a 36 tooth chain ring. On the rear, well, the cassette, you can see that's a little bit smaller than Neil's. It's 11 tooth all the way up to 40 tooth. The two by system gives me a wider range of gears with less of a jump between them. So what has driven the rise in popularity of the one by and the wider range cassettes. While long travel trail bikes have become popular, enduro racing has gained in popularity, and mountain bike technology means that these bikes have become much more capable all around, from descending to big days out on the trail. They've actually become the one bike does it all choice for many riders, myself included. So let's take a look at the advantages of running a one by system. Simplicity is the first. Without a second chain ring, you can ditch the front mech, shifter and cable. There is a weight advantage to this. But more than that, you can just rely on your right thumb to do all the shifting for you. This has the added benefit of now being able to get your dropper post remote under the bar where the front shifter was. Another advantage of running the one by system is you're much less likely to drop your chain off the front. You can run a mech with a chain stabiliser or a clutch. You've got that front chain device keeping on there. You can also get specific one by chain rings. Uh, another advantage is that bike manufacturers have a bit more freedom to design their frames, specifically to not have to use a front mech. So they can free up a little bit of space down here to fit things like linkages or even really shorten the chain stays. Okay, so so far, so good for the one by drivetrain. Why would you want to go for that two by then? Well, the big disadvantage for the one by comes with the fact that there's some massive jumps in the cassette. Sometimes three, four, five, or even nine to separate a gear change, making it really hard to keep consistent cadence when you're climbing. With the two by, because of that two by ring up front, you've got a wider selection of gears, meaning that when you are climbing, you can keep that consistency and you can get absolutely dialed to make sure that you keep the legs spinning, you're gonna get maximum grip, and it's gonna be easier for you to climb up to the top of the trail. How's your one by? Uh, yeah, it's good. I am a big fan of the one by system. I think you're right though, because of the big jump in the gears, I think often you have to pedal up the hill in a slightly harder gear than you'd like. So I think it probably suits the stronger riders a bit better. Should we head up to the top of the hill then? Let's do it. So it actually comes to a winner in the one versus two by debate. I don't think there is one. It's a bit like every other component choice. It just comes down to the type of riding you do. Personally, I ride one by most of the time. Shimano have actually been launching a bit of a campaign around this called the No Single Truth. And they put a poll out and actually found that it was almost 50-50. Yeah. So we want to know, what do you guys run? What would you buy if you're buying a new group set? Click right up there to cast your vote. 
Interestingly, on the Enduro World Series, where you think most people would run one by, there's a couple of people, there's Tracy Mosley and Nico Lau, that actually still choose to run two by. Yeah, the two by system is still great, and for me, it just saves my legs on those really big long rides. Click on this GMBN logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And click down here to see a cross country bike versus a cross country hardtail, which was faster. And over here for Enduro versus cross country. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it, and leave all your comments down below.